In this video, I want to show you how to insert music into your Web Starts website. When you're in an edit to website, you click on insert and then music, the file manager will come up. And there you have a listing of all the music that you have in your file manager at this moment in time. Right now I have none. So if I just click on upload files from my computer, I can access my computer to look for music. I have a song on my desktop called Small Name. If I just upload it here, it'll process it and there it is in the file manager couple options before I insert this music into my website is the options of autoplay which will allow the music to play as soon as someone visits the page um, and also I can loop so once the song is complete it will repeat now this is only going to be for the first on the page it's on so it won't continue the music throughout the website as you navigate through it just keep that in mind now once I have the music I selected and just click on insert the file here and it'll drop the little music player widget right there. You can save it. And then I can preview it. And it should play. Another thing some people like doing is be able to have the ability to download music from their WebStarts website. Now, when you upload the MP3 into WebStarts, when you try to create as a hyperlink, it's going to open it in the browser, and I'll show you what happens with that. Let's say I wanted to hyperlink that same MP3. And I'll save the page, and I'll preview it again. Now, I obviously have the option here to play the little podcast by clicking play here. But let's see what happens when I click on the download to listen. going to think and as you can see it's opening up in another tab in the browser well I don't want to do that necessarily so let's say I wanted to have the ability is that I want someone to be able to click on an icon and actually download it so they can listen to it later okay let me just remove this hyperlink here so there it is to do that you just need to go to the file on your computer right click it and you should have an option to zip the file. Now zipping the file compresses it into a different file type. Now by doing that, I have my little zip file right here. Going back into edit the website, now I can click on the icon and I'll create a hyperlink. Oops, let me do something first. Let me insert that file. There it is. All right, there's my zip file. Okay, and you notice I can't insert it like this. And you'll see I have to create it as a hyperlink. So I'm going to highlight, click here to listen, I'll click here to download, listen later. I'm going to create a hyperlink to that file. Choose from my files, that guy, create the link. There it is. Let's save the page, preview it. And now try it. Opens up a menu here that I can save it to my computer. And it's downloaded. For more tips and trip tricks on building your website, please visit www.webstarts.com.